Hello everyone, uh, my name is Hilde Remoy, this is Vincent Taapken. Hi. Uh, Vincent, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Well, as you said, I'm Vincent Taapken. Um, I was born and raised in Rotterdam. I'm a, a real estate developer. Actually, I call myself an urban developer because it's uh, basically my company, New Industry Development. I started middle of the crisis, uh, 2009, as a response to the traditional real estate industry. And I called my, my company New Industry because of uh, what Obama said, the cause of all the problems we have is that we think is an old industry. So I thought, well, might as well you n name your company New Industry and come up with new innovative ideas. Yeah. So we're standing here in front of a building that you just bought and that you have plans to redevelop. Yeah. Can you also tell us a bit more about, the, about this building? Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit more about the area we're in. We're actually in the island Feyenoord, which is on the south bank of uh, Rotterdam. And I started my company uh, with buying two factories just in the street here. And as I was developing that two buildings, I found uh, this building by cycling past it every day. And I thought, wow, this is a beautiful listed building. Obviously, it, it's old and we don't have as much old anymore in Rotterdam. So I thought, well, we might as well um, uh, come up with a plan for it. And one of the things is that this used to be an old cement factory. This whole park used to be a cement factory. And the cement factory was um, well stopped functioning in, let's say, the late 80s. And the municipality wanted the, uh, the area of the cement factory to be uh, transformed into housing. But the soil of the, um, of the, 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 the land of the, was uh, polluted. Um, so they needed to um, well, filter it. And there was so much money. It cost so much money that they thought, well, we'll make it a temporary park. And resulted basically in a final park, in the definitive uh, well, development of a park. And the, the owner of the, of, the, of the land that sold it to the municipality was the family Van Waning which yeah. is which the, the building itself, this was the headquarters of the Van Waning family when they had the cement factory. It was um, uh, designed and built in 1896 and in the end this was the headquarters of the cement factory where like the direction of the, of the company and uh, the engineers were actually engineering the, the concrete for the, uh, for, the, for the factory. It's a building with a very interesting story. Uh, and uh, what are your plans? How will you, uh, w what do you intend to do with this building in the future? Well, I've had plans for the last seven and a half years. But, um, so for so the plan and a half years, but nothing much has happened yet? No, actually nothing has happened yet. Yeah. Uh, the, the building is owned by the municipality. Yeah. Um, and I came up with a plan to um, Make it actually a meeting place in in the area because we, there's not so many there's not so many restaurants there's not so many bars cafes, and it's a it's a combination the whole area is a combination of uh, two large companies Unilever and Hunter Douglas mm -hmm. and some a, a collection of smaller companies, so I came up with the idea so if you want to make um, this new life for this historic building. Yeah. What best would it be to make a cafe, restaurant and bar so you can actually enjoy the park, yeah. enjoy the listed building and the his history, the story of the history mm -hmm. and drink, um, meet, uh, uh, eat and maybe get married here or um, uh, have business meetings and everything else you would do in a bar and restaurant. When you start a project like this, how, how do you start? How do you come to the idea to uh, develop this into a restaurant? It's quite simple actually, because you follow your, your gut feeling. Yeah. You, you, you look at it and uh, I, well, you travel around the world and you travel around the Netherlands and you see that park areas in, in neighborhoods that are very close to the city center mm -hmm. are all coming up as being um, more interesting, uh, interesting areas to live and to work, yeah. but hardly have any sort of meeting spaces. And obviously, um, a, a listed building with, with such a story, with such a um, history, um, always attracts people like the Hotel New York building, or uh, well, most of the buildings that are turned into the restaurants are actually yeah. have an interesting story. So, yeah. a meeting place for the city was quite easily found yeah. as a function. Yeah. 
So you call it gut feeling. Yeah. I think uh, gut feeling is something that takes some time to develop. So for, for uh, students, uh, researchers who just start thinking about building adaptation and adaptive reuse, yeah. uh, they might not have this gut feeling uh, that quickly. Uh, because yeah. according to, to what you explain, it seems that your gut feeling is also very much based on experience yeah. and on uh, studies and what you have done in the past and so on. Yeah, so true. How, how would you um, uh, how, how would you advise them uh, uh, to start such a project? Well, it's a good question. Um, I think by being being local, uh, taking aware of what the context is of the area, to know like the social, cultural, and to know a little bit about the society and the social contra- cont- cultural aspects of the neighborhood where it's in, so the location. Yeah. Try to know what the location is about, yeah. what people live here, um, what is the the vision of the of the municipality. So, what is the um, is there a master plan? Um, uh, what what companies on the in the area? What is missing? Uh, so it's it's more analyzing, and uh, so a gut feeling is more of yeah what would it need but i was born and raised here so i know the context quite well yes and if i look at um if you would do this like from the outside in then basically i think we talking to locals is the most important thing that we that i would start with yeah um and this is as simple as going to a neighbor and asking the neighbor so what do you think? Why is it? Why is it there? Just being there. Yeah. Why is it not in use? And then you start hearing stories, yeah. and the stories actually add up. So if you do the interviews, then you add up, and, and then you get a picture of why things are not developed or empty. Yeah. And then from there, you can start um, uh, projecting your own ideas. So this is your method. Can you tell us a bit yeah. about your um, drive? Why, well, the drive. Why this kind of projects? Why don't you just do yeah. uh, uh, new developments, new buildings uh, yeah. in greenfield areas? Good question. Um, it would be much well, easier. Yeah, it's much easier. Uh, no, this is the kind of I, I like urban, uh, ur- well, urbanism. That's why I call myself an urban developer rather yep. than a project developer, because every initiative I take, I want it, I want the rest of the city or at least the the neighborhood to benefit of the project yeah. which in most cases where um, um, I see project developers that are only interested in their own little plot mm. and making a sort of maximizing profit uh, uh, project which is in that case only based on money yeah. and I try to focus on money and value okay. so what does it add to the neighborhood in the yeah. area so value for the neighborhood well. value for the neighborhood but also um, like monumental value yeah. Because which is very important, a city like Rotterdam uh, was well. We don't have as much historic buildings left, no. so you should cherish them and, and nurture them and, and treat them well. Yeah. And obviously, that hasn't been done with this in the last 25 years. So it's also sort of um, it's it's also marketing. Um, so it's not all because a lot of people like old buildings, mm-hmm. and uh, there's there's studies that um, historic buildings actually are commercially more valuable yes. than newly built. Yep. Even though you make beautiful architecture, yep. an, an old historic building has has its own value in itself. Yeah. Nice. Should we have a look at the building? Yeah. Can we have a walk yep. around? We yes. can have a walk around. Thank you.